Confusion about the embattled DA in Alameda County. They say they have enough signatures, but organizers of the campaign to recall the county district attorney, Pamela Price, say the county leaders are actually adding confusion to this whole recall process. Here's NBC's Ian Cole. Recall Price. Recall Price. The effort to recall Pamela Price intensified today as those who want her out of office say they've collected 80,000 signatures and intend to get about 30,000 more as a safety measure before turning them all in early next year. Our son did not receive justice, and the only justice that we can get for him is to have her recalled. They argue the Alameda County DA has been too lenient on criminals. She refuses to allow her DAs to provide gun enhancements. What's been the result? At the same time today, the county's board of supervisors voted to put another issue before voters in March. It would change how recalls are done at the county level and align the process with the state. The recall campaign says it won't affect their election, but they worry it'll add confusion to their issue. This is the wrong time for them to even address this issue. They have created a mount of confusion. The campaign to defend Price, protect the win, argues the push to oust her is being bankrolled primarily from people who live outside of Alameda County. But what we've seen as part of this particular recall is a lot of outside money. And we're talking tech investors, hedge fund millionaires. Price supporters want to ensure signatures on the recall petition are coming from registered voters within the county. Our bottom line here basically is like if you don't live in Alameda County, you shouldn't be allowed to have a say in the electoral process in Alameda County. Um, you know, it's as simple as that. The recall campaign expects voters will decide whether Price should keep her job during the March 5th election or in April if the signatures aren't verified in time. In Oakland, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.